I want to bring you this ground report of Naya Kashmir. Probably the most glamorous slap in the face of Kashmir's hypocrite brigade. Those who continue to lament the abrogation of Article 370 and Kashmir's journey to normalcy, peace and prosperity. Say hello to Miss World, Carolina Bilespa. The beauty pageant winner spent all of Monday in Kashmir. Accompanied by Miss India World, Sini Shetty, Carolina enjoyed a traditional Kashmiri meal and did what all tourists love most about Srinagar, a shikara ride in the beautiful Dal Lake. But what we've seen today was really blowing our minds. The beautiful lake, we took a ride on the boats, we see the colorful garden and everyone welcomed us so nicely, so warmly, that I cannot wait to welcome 140 nations and all my friends and family to bring them here to India and to show places like Kashmir. Images of a beauty pageant winner enjoying her day in Kashmir explode with meaning. Jammu and Kashmir, one of the most beautiful places in the world, used to be a tourist hotspot for decades. Following the abrogation of Article 370, Jammu and Kashmir has seen an incredible surge in tourism, beating all previous records and setting Kashmir on a path of peace and profits for its people. And now, even though legacy netas continue to decry their loss of a narrative, Leave it to Miss World to expose the frustrated old Kashmir Brigade whose presence in Srinagar has sent out a message to the whole world that Kashmir is peaceful and open for business. Let's see how Mehbooba Mufti and her generation of politicians spin this one. Bureau Report, India Today. During the course of this broadcast, we will also get you images of what's happening in Pakistan-occupied Jammu and Kashmir. The protests that are taking place in Pakistan-occupied Jammu and Kashmir, including in Gilgit and Baltistan. But we'll come to that in just a moment. I want to bring Lieutenant General KJS Dhillan into this conversation. General, what's the message to the world with G20 tourism meet in Srinagar and now with the Miss World pageant at the Dal Lake? A place where at one point of time in the early 1990s and you were posted there, I believe, as a young officer at that time, when you had terrorists on the boulevard, terrorists who were actually calling the shots in the heart of Srinagar at one point of time, sir. Good evening, Gaurav, and good evening to all your viewers. Yes, you are right. In 88, 89, 90, when I was a young captain in North Kashmir, the dates which you mentioned all the incidents of Justice Ganju's killing, Mr. Lassa Cole's killing, Robia Said's kidnapping, killing of four Air Force officers, all those things were the thing of terror in the air. There were villages in the bordering areas of Kupwada and Bandipura where I was posted, where almost half the young population had taken off and gone to Pakistan-occupied Kashmir for terrorist activities. There were weapons being smuggled into Kashmir and the killings were happening, threats were happening. The basic feeling of animosity against Indians was visible in the normal life. Aap Hindustan se aai ho. Aapke Hindustan mein ye hota hai. These were the phrases or the language being spoken to even a person like me in uniform. You can imagine the person who is without uniform or without weapon, what must be the feeling of terror in his mind. The killings were happening, the targeted killings were happening, innocent civilians were being killed on the pretext of being the informers. Now from there to here what we are today, where we are today, is a peace. And this peace has come at a cost, at a cost of human lives, of Kashmiris, innocent Kashmiris, Kashmiri uniformed people from security forces and Indian soldiers. This has come at a very heavy cost. Notwithstanding, the nation has paid the price, but the peace has returned to the Jannat that Kashmir is. And we'll you talk be. about Jannat, so, but to reach that Jannat, was it 
was it the bombing of balakot after pulwama but did what role did that play what role did the defanging of article 370 play and has the terror enabling ecosystem has the terror enabling ecosystem in the valley has that been defanged even now sir see for the benefit of the viewers i must amplify the term ecosystem which was sponsoring terror and which was benefiting from terror this ecosystem was very happy that terror continues in kashmir because they were getting their fundings they were getting their political mileage and they were getting all the benefits of goodies which terrorism had to provide them at the cost of common kashmiri lives common kashmiri youth dying so this ecosystem had pakistan army isi the pakistan government the jammu jamaat e islami the huriyat the terrorist certain political parties in the kashmir valley certain ngos certain opinion makers who were in the garb of being intellectuals were spitting venom and i dare say certain journalists and the vernacular press they all were benefiting from this ecosystem and they were sponsoring and proliferating this terror fake narratives and they were keeping the 99% of silent majority terrified because of what was happening in kashmir general the innocent stay with kashmiri me. was terrified stay with me for a they moment they have been defanged the word as you used on 5th of august 2019 but before that the balakot air strikes sent a very strong message to pakistan that this much and nothing more and you will get a befitting reply dare you do anything okay so these are very important timelines in the history of kashmir which the generations to come will read about and feel proud about